Welcome to another segment of CUTV News. I'm Alexandra Chiantafolopoulos, and today we are here live at Palais du Congrès to hear Michelle Obama, former First Lady of the United States, deliver her speech. Michelle Obama, elle est, elle est quel symbole, elle est source d'inspiration et en quoi? Oui, absolument, une source d'inspiration. On, on en veut toujours plus de modèles de femmes fortes qui s'imposent par leurs idées, par leur vitalité. Puis euh, moi, Madame Obama, euh, j'ai toujours beaucoup apprécié la regarder aller. Je la trouve élégante, souriante. Puis en même temps, on sent une force de caractère incroyable. Donc, une grande source d'inspiration. Qu'est-ce qui fait d'elle une politicienne différente des autres? Ben, en fait, ce n'est pas une politicienne, n'est-ce pas? Ben, enfin, elle voit qu'elle nous fasse une annonce ce soir, mais il y en demeure pas moins qu'on voit la, la, la force qu'elle a. Euh, je pense qu'elle a euh, su incarner l'espoir des femmes et des hommes aux États-Unis lors du mandat de, de son mari, euh, montrer justement qu'on peut être euh, sortir du moule, avoir des idées fortes. De, 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 elle a fait beaucoup aussi la promotion de l'activité physique, de la nutrition, de la bonne alimentation, des choses qui me touchent, qui m'intéressent beaucoup moi-même. Donc, euh, je, je, en tout cas, moi, je serais bien heureuse que ça lance en politique, mais on, on verra bien. Et en anglais, madame <rire> Oui, c'est dur. C'est dur. dur pour une femme. Oui, en difficile. anglais rapidement. Oui, 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 je le fais. Bien, je le fais tous les jours. Heureusement, j'ai toujours les, les enfants qui, qui ramènent à, à, aux vraies affaires, comme on dit. Mais c'est vrai que ce soir, j'ai bien hâte d'être inspirée encore plus, de prendre une dose de... Oui, une bonne dose d'énergie pour le prochain mois euh, qui commence. En anglais, madame. Are you hoping to get out of tonight, madame? Um, energized. So, she gave me the idea. So, uh, I'm, I'm here to be inspired because she's such an inspiration for many women and men. And, uh, yeah, lots of energy for me that is continuing in this mandate. And hopefully I'll have few words with her. I would love that. But what would you ask her if you had a chance to? Uh, I would say, how do you stay true to yourself? What's your, how do you make it through all the difficulties? How do you, you know, stand strong and, you know, leave aside comments that might be not very nice to hear or people that don't approve? And how do you stand strong and, and stick to your values? What about raising kids while well in this? Yes, that's a, that's a big challenge, yeah. though I feel like there's more and more model, more and more women that shows that it, it is possible when you get the right support. And when you speak out loud to say, we can do both, but at the same time, we need to uh, manage and, and uh, change the culture so people accept that as a mom, as a parent, as a politician, you can do it all, but you also have to make choices. Sure, I'm very happy to be here tonight to uh, hear the... Uh, the speech of someone we admire, I admire. Uh, Madame Obama, of course, uh, is not only the wife of the former president, she's someone who herself has made a significant uh, impact on our society, both in the U.S. before uh, Barack entering politics and, and during the presidency, while she was so much involved in all issues related uh, to women, but also to children and quality of life issues. A uh, very articulate person, uh, intellectually very strong, uh, I would say that in Quebec we are very lucky that we also have women in uh, strong leadership positions, both in business, culture, universities. We have more and more principals uh, in Quebec that are women, pr university principals. So this is something that all Quebecers, I would say most Quebecers, stand firmly for. Full equality of opportunity for men and women. And the message tonight I think will be quite powerful. I hope, I think it's going to be a message of hope. Uh, that things will continue to improve on, on this planet in spite of all the problems we have. Well, I hope the message is for men too. Uh, we, we also have to be part of this uh, conversation. This is a word that is used a lot now, the word conversation. But it happens in our families, uh, it happens uh, in politics, it happens in business. And it's important that we men also share that objective of full equality. We don't have to relinquish anything that may make us men or vice versa that make women what they are. But we, can, we should all strive for full equality of opportunity and results as well as, term, as well as positions in society. So I have a daughter, I have a, a granddaughter, and I, I soon a, another granddaughter. You know, I don't imagine anyone telling my daughter that certain things she cannot do in life. Uh, this person would be in for, the, for a hard time. But we know that it's, all this, it's not the same for everyone. It's not the same everywhere. everywhere. And uh, for this message to be coming out of Montreal today, uh, I think, which is quite a progressive place in the world today, is, is quite good. I'm quite happy to be here. Michelle Obama is just about ready to begin her conference, get ready to be inspired. Thank you for watching another segment of CUTV. This is Alexandra Chiantafalopoulos signing off. Until next time. My passion is not politics. My passion is social change in a different setting. 
Uh, so for the near term, I'm w w working on finishing my book, a memoir that should yes. be coming out soon. I think there's more information about the book that'll come out at the end of the month. So I spent a lot of time working on that. Um, and I hope that it will talk about a lot of what we discuss, my background, that foundation that made me who I am, uh, my education, my challenges and struggles, and of course, um, some of the interesting times that I spent in the White House. So I'm excited about that, and I'm excited about that beginning a set of conversations like this all over the country, all over the world. So I'm very excited about that project. Uh, Barack and I together are working on the Obama Presidential Center, uh, Barack's uh, library that will be located on the south side of Chicago, our hometown, the neighborhood where I grew up. Um, and the foundation will serve as sort of the starting off point for all of the things that Barack and I want to do, continue to work on women's empowerment and health and girls' education. Um, I'm still doing work through all my initiatives that I started in the White House. Uh, I just uh, did an event uh, on Monday for School Counselors of the Year, an event we did, first started in the White House and we continued it, we did it in, at the Kennedy Center. So there's still a lot of work that I'm doing there. Um, I wanna get that last kid into college and experience empty nest life. <laughs> Go Sasha. You can do it, girl. Uh, <laughs> and then once I have two kids in college, you know, it's sort of the sky's the limit. Um, so I want to do, as I said, I want to do things that I'm passionate about. And I'm still learning. I mean, that's the beauty of life, kids in the back. Even when you're 54, you're still redefining yourself. And I'm in my third phase, and I'm excited to see where it leads me.